Hi everyone and welcome once more for another Fusion 360 Challenge of the Month. And today we are going to create the challenge for August. So let's get started. Now the main goal of this challenge is for us to discover the Revolve tool. So now I'm going to hit R to grab my rectangle and select our XZ plane. And before dropping my first corner, the units should be in inches. So I'm going to change my active units to inch and hit OK. Hitting R once more to grab our corner rectangle. I'm going to drop my first point here and second point here. My rectangle is still active. I'm going to drop my first point here and second point here. I'm going to hit T to grab our trim and I'm going to trim away these entities. I'm going to hit escape. Notice that we now have an overlapping horizontal line. I'm going to make sure that I am in window selection and create a window selection and delete that line. Hitting delete. And now I'm going to grab our dimension tool, hitting D for dimension. I'm going to select this vertical line and this vertical line. Move down and drop our dimension here. The value to be 0.75. Next, selecting this vertical line and this vertical line. Dropping our dimension here and keying in 1.5. Hitting enter. And finally, selecting this vertical line and this vertical line. I'm going to drop our dimension here instead. Keying in 3.75. Hitting enter. Now, the key item for Revolve is creating half of the sketch. So if our diameter here is... 1.5 then it's half so grabbing my dimension once more selecting this horizontal line and this horizontal line dropping our dimension here again it's 1.5 the half of it here in the dialog box of our dimension we can perform a simple mathematical operation just like a calculator so next the diameter of the circle here is 2, so I'm going to select this line and this line. Drop our dimension here. The half of 2 is 1. Hitting enter. And finally, we're going to position this horizontal line to our origin. I'm going to hit escape to disable dimension. Scroll down on my sketch palette and on the constraints, we're going to grab our midpoint. Selecting this line and our origin. Hitting escape to disable midpoint constraint. I'm going to double click my middle mouse to zoom extends and zoom out a bit. I'm going to grab 0.75, left click, holding it, release. Another quick tip, make it a habit to always try to move your entities to check if we still need and additional constraint or dimension. So take note, this one is collinear. And finally, we can now grab our Revolve tool. Let's now head up to Create and grab Revolve. And now we are prompted to select a profile, selecting this profile. And left-click to activate Axis. Selecting this line, I'm going to go to our home view, the angle to be 360 degrees, operation, new body, and hit OK. Let's now create the cut here. I'm going to hit L to grab our line and select this plane as our sketch plane. Zooming in, I'm going to hit P 
for project and project this outer circle. I'm going to pan and move this one to the left, hitting L for line. I'm going to drop our first point at the circumference, second point here. I'm going to hit Escape and select this line and right click and select horizontal. Next, we're going to grab our dimension by hitting D, selecting this line and our origin moving to the right. I'm going to drop our dimension here and key in 0.5, hitting enter. I'm going to hit escape. So now these are profiles, hitting E for extrude. I'm going to go to home view, select this profile and this profile. I'm going to grab our arrow to the left. Now according to our 2D drawing, the remaining material here should be 0.38. So what I can do, I can go to distance. I'm going to type in negative 0.75 minus 1.5 and plus 0.38. Direction one side, operation, cut, extends to be distance, and finally hit OK. Now to check, I can hit I to grab our measure tool, selecting this face. I'm going to rotate and select this face. So confirm, it's 0 0.38. I'm going to hit close. Let's now create the hole here. I'm going to hit C to grab our circle and select this face. I'm going to zoom in and drop my center point here. Now the diameter is 0 0.38. Hitting enter. Next, I'm going to go to my sketch palette and go to constraints and grab our horizontal vertical. Selecting our center point and our origin, aligning them horizontally. Hitting escape, and now we can extrude. I'm going to hit E, selecting this profile and grabbing our arrow down the distance to be 0.88, which is our depth, and finally hit OK. Let's now proceed creating the cut at the back. I'm going to go to our browser and turn on our origin folder. I'm going to expand this one and head to our XZ plane. I'm going to right click and create sketch. Zooming in, I'm going to hit R for rectangle. I'm going to place my first point here and second point here. I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension. Selecting this line and this vertical line, dropping our dimension here and keying in 0.5, hitting enter. So next, selecting this horizontal line and this horizontal line, moving to the left, dropping our dimension here and keying in 0.5, hitting escape. Now our next goal is to align the mid of our square to our origin horizontally. I can hit S to grab my sketch toolbox and type PO and grab our point tool. I'm going to drop this one at our midpoint. So notice the triangle, left click, hitting escape and going to our sketch palette and grabbing our horizontal vertical, selecting our origin and our midpoint. Next, I'm going to hit escape and go back to constraints and select coincident. Selecting this line. So now, in order for us to have this coincide with our edge, we need a reference. I can hit P to grab my project and project this edge. Hitting OK. And finally, grabbing my coincident, 
selecting this line and this point. And now I can hit E for extrude. Going to home view, selecting this profile, grabbing our arrow up. Now for direction, I'm going to change it to symmetric, extends to be all. And finally, hit OK. I'm going to turn off the visibility of our origin. And congratulations for completing the August monthly challenge. Now, please make sure to save your file in our A360 folder. And see you again on the next Fusion 360 monthly challenge. Adios, amigos.